Hello, good morning, everyone. It's Karin Samal Singh, and this is my colleague Kavita Dev Gora. And today we are going to talk in about uh, what is the case management and the importance of case management during the software processes. And first of all, I would like to talk in about the other segments we are going to cover up in this presentation. Actually, our presentation divided into six sections. Sari, uh, sari. What is case management? Importance of case management. Importance of test management during software testing life cycle, uh, test management process, best practices of test management, and test management tools. Uh, first of all, I would like to talk in about what is test management. Uh, actually, uh, before start my presentation, I would like to ask some questions. Uh, please raise your hand if anybody have an idea about uh, what's the meaning of test management. I need a small description of that. Managing the testing process throughout the software development life cycle. Yeah, correct answer. Uh, anything else? Yeah, so online uh, guys also can. Uh, yeah, no, no, guys also uh, can, can give the answer. Yeah, and it is no description about what's the meaning of the test management. Okay, I'll tell. Actually, uh, test management is a process. It's a process of the planning, organizing, directing, and controlling the testing activities uh, of the software projects. And in the additions, uh, it enables organization to meet deadline faster, increase the team collaborations, streamline project uh, resource allocations, like size. Uh, I guess now you guys have a small idea about what, what is the test management. And I'm going to continue our presentation. I'm going to talk in about the importance of test management. Actually, uh, we can get a big picture of all software testing activities through the uh, test management. Uh, apart from that, uh, we can ensure efficient and effective testing of a software, uh, help to manage and testing activities and resources, help to plan and schedule testing activities, help to track and report testing uh, process and result, and help reduce the distance of their failures and defects through the test management. And these are the importance of test management. Uh, now I'm going to talk in about the importance of case management during the software testing life cycle. In this presentation, I'm not going to talk in about what is the software testing life cycle or what are the steps of the software testing life cycle because you are a QA expert in the industry, so everyone should have an idea about what is the software testing life cycle. Uh, in this slide, I need to highlight Test management involved in the each and every single steps of the software testing life cycle. Uh, in that case, uh, first of all, we have to get a client requirement. Using that client requirement, we have to make a test plan. Then we have to do the test designing and review. After that, we have to do the test case preparation. And after that, QA person uh, uh, should start the test execution part. In that test execution part, QA person is able to find a bug. Then they have to uh, raise those bugs and communicate with the developers. After developers fix that bugs, uh, QA person uh, QA person able to retest those bugs and close these bugs. Uh, after the uh, after that process, uh, QA person uh, can start a regression testing, and after the regression testing, uh, we can do a software phase. This is the software testing life cycle. I I want to tell uh, software test management is involved in each and every steps of the software testing life cycle. Uh, without the proper test management, you guys are not able to come up with the quality product. And so, test management is very important for software projects. Uh, if you guys follow a good software testing management during the software process, you guys are able to come up with the quality bug free products. This is the important test management during the software testing life cycle. Uh, now, I'm going to talk about test management process. Actually, test management process has two main phases. First one is the planning phase, another one is the execution phase. Uh, this is a circular process. And the uh, planning, uh, pro uh, planning phase has four main steps, and the execution phase has three main uh, steps. Uh, steps of the planning phase are risk analysis, test estimation, test planning, and test organizing. Uh, steps of the execution phase is test monitoring and control, issue management, and test report and evaluation. Uh, I'm going to invite my colleague Kavindu to continue his presentation and he will explain those uh, this process in a practical way. Uh, I'm going to invite him on stage. Okay, uh, thank you, Tarindar. Uh, so, uh, I will explain uh, what is this analysis in uh, software test uh, management process. So, before I uh, introduce the risk analysis, uh, here I have mentioned that uh, risk is the potential loss resulting from a given action no and activity. So, uh, what are the given action no and activities? So, in our testing life cycle, 
we have uh, plenty of our test uh, activities and some uh, tasks to do. So that's what I have mentioned, action row and activity. So we need to uh, find out what are the resolution uh, before we uh, before have the risk and we need to mitigate and we need uh, to take some action to uh, overcome those uh, risks. So in here, uh, mainly I have divided two, uh, two types. So there are possible risks and the certain un unavoidable risks. So the possible risks in each and every project, we can uh, uh, find these possible risks. So we can uh, change or we can adapt to new hardware or new technology. Sometimes we need to uh, adapt to automation tools. Sometimes we need to uh, change the automation tool. Then what we what we have the risk is uh, we need to prepare the resources. We need to allocate the budget from the uh, project level. So we need to uh, make sure our time, uh, time deadline. So uh, then uh, that's why uh, I have mentioned these uh, possible risks. So uh, what are the uh, unavoidable risks uh, we are facing? So for the unavoidable risk, we need to uh, take the time we are all allocating to each uh, task during the test activities and defect leakage due to some uh, complexity of size uh, 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 of the applications and urgency from the clients to deliver the project. So, in uh, as an example, in uh, CR project, uh, uh, when uh, time allocating, uh, we are allocating uh, some time and we are keeping a buffer time. Why? Sometimes uh, we need to uh, test bug retest. So, in that case, uh, we need to uh, plan the deadline also. So in that case, we, we need to manage our time accurately. So that so in these uh, this all these uh, items are interconnected. Uh, as an example, if a if a teenage and a client uh, is finding a bug, so in that case we need to prepare and we need to find solution why it is uh, leaks and we need to uh, assign someone to. Uh, 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 readers can uh, fix and uh, uh, again uh, we need to uh, include those uh, items into the regression suit. So in that case, uh, uh, we we need to uh, analyze our uh, risk. So in the incomplete requirements also, uh, there is a possible risk. Uh, we need to uh, have in our uh, software testing life cycle and. Uh, I'll move to the next slide. So this contains the test estimation. So in here, as a summary, I have mentioned an estimate is the forecast or prediction. So the test estimation is approximately determine how long a task would take to complete. So this this, this uh, estimation is can be 20% percent uh, high or less uh, because uh, this is a prediction, but we need to set accurate estimation before we start the project. So how we set uh, 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 accurate uh, estimation in our uh, project. So uh, what we did is uh, we need, we can uh, have separate meeting with, meetings with business analysts, project management managers and uh, developers and we can uh, uh, discuss and we can from the QA uh, perspective we can uh, add uh, clarifications and send in mail to directly to client and ask the requirement uh, perfectly so in that case if we know the domain very well so we can easily uh, estimate our uh, effort for the each and every subcast so the next one is uh, the test estimation technique so in our CR project we have used work breakdown structure and planning program and uh, we are using functional point analysis also. So what is work breakdown structure? So in our CF project, so if client uh, uh, deliver the one of the uh, uh, requirements, so we can easily break down those requirements into each sub module. So then we can uh, estimate uh, each and every sub modules uh, our time to each and every sub modules and uh, allocate to each, uh, each and every individual. So, and uh, we are continuing our planning program 
we will never come to the uh, each and every uh, spin starts, uh, we, we can uh, uh, we are having a separate meeting with our all the stakeholders and uh, we are using planning poker to uh, uh, estimate our first part. And the next one is uh, this plan. So, uh, as of all know, uh, uh, before we uh, start the spin, we need to uh, create a test plan. So. Why we create a test plan? So, why we create a test plan means we need to uh, enter all our test strategy. What are the uh, scope of the uh, our testing? And uh, what are the uh, entry and exit criteria? And what are the non-functional, functional things we need to uh, deliver in this uh, spring? And uh, we can uh, add our test deliverables and resource uh, team structure of the project and uh, so it, it's a formal document then uh, we can uh, get approved with our uh, management team and the client so then uh, we can easily do our uh, planned activities during our uh, sprint level so uh, i'll go to the next slide uh, so this contains test organization so basically this organization means so uh, as we uh, introduce uh, the in the beginning, uh, I have introduced some estimation and uh, uh, those kind of procedures. And the test organization also is mapping with each and every uh, test management process. So that means the procedure of defining roles and of the testing process. So why are we defining roles and uh, allocating each responsible? So as our goal all know our scope is to uh, get the uh, quality output of the uh, entire application so in that case uh, we need to assign and each assign each uh, task to each individuals and uh, uh, take uh, them to uh, take the responsibility of each task so then easily we can go to our deadline with uh, quality products uh, the next one is uh, test monitoring and control. So, here, uh, what is uh, test monitoring? So, there are a lot of things we can include in the test monitoring. So, we can review our, uh, review and monitor our uh, junior's work, uh, test cases review, and uh, we can convey the test results to achieve all relevant parties. Uh, uh, Subtask and identify and tracking relevant test metrics. So in that case, uh, we can identify the track in the test metrics and we can come up to a solution. Now we are uh, having these kind of uh, issues and like likewise. And uh, planning and estimations and defining all the uh, future courses to uh, take actions and uh, likewise. So in the test control, uh, we can prioritize our efforts and we can deprioritize some subtasks. So basically, Control means we need to achieve the, what we have planned initially in the test plan. So we have in the test plan, we have some sort of uh, objective. So we need to achieve that. Um, that's correctly. So we need to uh, control. Uh, then the next one is uh, issue management. So as we all aware, we are, we are as QAs, we are um, observing and we are tracking work. So in that case, uh, we need to communicate. So that means in, in here, I have in the example, uh, in the QA team member is saying, so far we found 84 defects in the Google 99 RAM website. So what are we doing right now? We need to communicate as soon as possible to the our development team and our managers. We have these kind of bug in this model. So why are we uh, informing? Because then only we can know this uh, release is perfect. So in the uh, next phases, we can take necessary action according to this uh, bug. So as our whole uh, team, QA development, project management, and uh, business analysis, so all we are in the one scope is the uh, we need to achieve the quality output. So. Uh, the next one is uh, test report and evaluation. 
So in the test reporting, so before I uh, go to test report, uh, so as we all know, we, we can execute and report bugs and uh, do each uh, in activities during the uh, software development lifecycle. So in that case, this can uh, we we need to uh, make sure to uh, create the test report perfectly. So this can be an email and this can be a uh, using a test management tool. So in our CR uh, project, uh, we are using our uh, Azure DevOps tool to uh, see the test reports, like uh, how many test cases we have executed, how many bugs we have. So we, uh, as a team, uh, we have created uh, some uh, uh, graphs and some pie charts to uh, see uh, in the uh, previous streams these kind of bugs we have. Now we have these kind of bugs in the recession. We have found this much of bugs, and uh, then all development and QA uh, 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 works can be tracked uh, with the test report and everything. Uh, the next one is uh, the, um, the best, uh, best practices of test management. So here, uh, I think uh, we need to do the best practices means uh, now, uh, as a practically, uh, this can be a very according to the uh, company wise and the project wise. So we need to adapt uh, the company processes and uh, client uh, uh, processes with the uh, team. So, Karinda, you can uh, uh, describe the perspectives of uh, this man. Thank you. Uh, hello, guys, I'm back. And uh, I already mentioned we guys unable to get a proper output without a proper test management. So, proper test management needs need best practices. So, these are some best practices for the test management. And these are in planning and defining the scope of the testing. Uh, user testing tool, uh, user test management framework, define roles and responsibilities, and collaborate with stakeholders, use automation testing, uh, monitor and track progress, and continuously improve the testing process. So, you guys have to conduct a proper test management uh, via these types of best practices. And we can't release a good, good software product uh, without bugs to the proper test management. That's why I continuously telling you test management is very important for the every types of the software products. Uh, now I'm going to talk in about the, what are the test management tools available for the test management activities. Uh, there are different, different types of uh, test management tools. Uh, in my project time, in the CO365 project, we are using the Azure DevOps for our test management activities and uh, uh, test pack, Catalon, testing, Jira, testing tail also uh, a very good uh, test management tool available for the same thing in the world and uh, Jira also uh, widely used uh, test management tool in the world. So these are some kind of test management tools available for the test management activities. Uh, yeah, This is the end of our presentation. I'm going to conclude this session. And uh, at last, the test management process will enhance the quality of the product. This involves reduce the risk during the software uh, testing life cycle. Mm, I need to tell uh, Effective test management is crucial for ensuring for software products are delivered with high quality and uh, meet the needs of the stakeholders. Uh, it requires a combination of uh, technical expertise, project management skills, and communication abilities. Uh, by implementing effective test management practices, software development organizations can minimize risk and ensure the success of their software product. So this is the uh, end of our presentation and thanks for listening. And now we are, guys, we are, we are going to conduct a small Q&A session and if you guys have any types of questions, feel free to ask. Yeah. Any questions? Uh, yeah, I have one question. Uh, uh, during the uh, software life cycle, so then without uh, this management process, what are the uh, issues we have faced? And you mean, the, the, you mean the real world? Yeah. Examples. yeah uh, actually, there is a uh, different types of real world examples in the world. And I will give a couple of answers for you. And uh, first one is uh, Iran fire record in 1996, which faced a disaster without the control because uh, the use of gas has a bugs and they guys are not follow the good test, ma quality test management. Uh, another one is uh, mass climate uh, orbiter. Uh, it was uh, lost in 1999. Uh, cause of the error of the navigation tool. 
Ne a ghicit tu alba. Nu s-a ridicat numai de sample, de fapt, e dar o putere smeșă. Și So if you guys have any questions, we can find out this session. Thank you very much.